Good morning. My name is Kathy Hamilton, and today's devotional comes from All God's Creatures, and the, it's entitled, Yet I Will Sing. The scripture for today comes from Romans 5, verses 3 and 4. For we rejoice in our suffering, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. The storm lasted all night long. Strong winds, heavy rains, a few instances of the lights flickering inside the house. It was the kind of storm you hesitate to look out the window in the morning because you're pretty sure you'll discover a dozen trees have been uprooted. But as morning kissed the window with sunlight, the birds sang. Not just the ordinary wake-up warble, but an extra cheerful warble. Maybe they were ecstatic that the moist ground provided an abundant breakfast for them. Maybe they were just relieved that they had survived the monstrous storm. But one thing was certain, they sounded much happier than they had the day before. Because we live in a broken world, there are plenty of opportunities for storms to invade our lives from without and from within. Cancer diagnosis, a struggling marriage, a child wrestling with anxiety, a parent with Alzheimer's, a friend deployed into dangerous territory. Our emotions can be wrung to the point of desperation by the trials of life. We have never been promised a trial-free life. In fact, if Jesus suffered from the results of living in a fallen world, why should we consider ourselves immune? Yet our pain is not irrelevant. God uses the wounds to make us more and more like Christ from the inside out. The birds' exuberant songs that morning after the storm reminded me that reminded me of who holds us, that every pain has a purpose, that we can fill our hearts with a greater peace than trying to work through everything on our own. Even through the storm, he is working for our good and his glory. Let us pray. Dear Father, you love us more than we can understand. Help us find peace in the storms of life because we know you hold us and give us the strength to sing praises to you as you bring beauty from our brokenness. Now may the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Have a blessed day. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.